our biggest passion is that we we believe that this is an unacceptable and completely avoidable situation in South Africa, you know, through what we think is, is very innovative, although simple technology, we think we can have a massive impact on this that affects people's lives completely, you know. We don't understand what it's like for all of your belongings and all of your, you know, your, your personal effects to be destroyed in one moment. It renders you completely, you know, helpless. Die passie het veroorzaakt dat studenten van die Universiteit van Kaapstad een laagkoste brandalarm vir informele nedersettings ontwerp het. Die studenten het onlangs een gesochte internationale prijs losgeslaan vir die ontwerp. Die span van 6 studenten het die prijs van die Universiteit van California, Berkeley, in die VSA ontvang. Hul project is as een van die 6 beste initiatieven ter wereld by die universiteit sy Global Social Venture competitie aangewees. Die brandalarmse sirene dien as een waarschuwing vir inwoners van plakkershitte as een brand in een informele nedersetting uitbreek. Die groep gaan nou die prijs af gebruik om 2000 brandalarms te maak en in informele nedersettings in Zuid-Afrika te toets. The shack will be gone from, from the time of the incidents occurring to the, to the shack being totally non-combustible, totally burnt, you're talking one to two minutes. Tell me when you've had enough. I've already had enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a, like an irritating... Yeah, so good. Francois, did, when he did his thesis, did the original audiological research into what would really get to you. And this, this is one of those not just going to sneak into your dreams easily. No, no, this yeah. is it's going to actually like irritate you until you wake. And how long will it go, like... Uh, about a minute and a half. But then it'll um, by which time either you you out or you you know the shake of the fire is over. You preferably put this in uh, your cooking area of your house. Where you're most likely to have a fire. It senses the the it uses heat as a detection mechanism, so it doesn't. The, the design is specific in that it won't register that there's a fire if it's a hot day necessarily or if people are cooking so it's specifically calibrated to specifically detect and even abnormal. small fires abnormal abnormal situations yes yeah and, and we've we've got sort of we, we've we've done the 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 physics behind normal versus abnormal fires so the ideal is that we have been able to mitigate the loss of life and property to a factor of zero I mean that's our obviously our biggest ambition. We want to have proved our case. We want we want a huge amount of word of mouth around it that, that you know Kusela was able to assist the community in reaching this zero damage fire scenario, which is historically it's completely it's utopia. Yeah. It's utopia, but um, it's certainly an ambition we we want to strive for.